Welcome to this lucid dreaming tutorial for beginners. Now, if you're a complete beginner to lucid dreaming, you've never done it before, or even if you've, you know, you've tried it a few times, but you've not been able to get it to work, then this is the video for you. So basically we're gonna focus on, in this video on four different things, which kind of come underneath the umbrella of the mild technique, which is the mnemonic induced lucid dream. Now, the reason I'm gonna focus on that is because there was actually a study done quite recently, uh, which I'll try and, if I can remember the name of it, I'll link to it in the description. But basically when I looked through it, it seemed to suggest that mild, uh, the technique of you know mnemonic induced was more effective than almost any other technique over the course of the research the study so that's why i want to focus on this and if you're a beginner then this is the most important thing you can learn is the mild technique don't you know waste your time with other techniques don't try and you know do everything all at once and overwhelm yourself and that's how you're going to get to lucid dream as easily as possible especially if you're a beginner okay so let's just get right into it the first part of the mild technique involves dream recall so you kind of need to have your dream recall dialed in. You need to actually be remembering your dreams. Uh, and I know that sounds you know, kind of self-explanatory. Keep a dream journal, write down in the dream journal every morning what you can remember. You know, keep it by your bed, highlight different dream signs and different things. I have another video about dream journals, uh, which you can find on my channel. You need to get to the point where you can remember at least one dream per night. Uh, and that's kind of the foundation that I would suggest you learn before you move on to the other things, okay? The next one is reality checks. So a reality check is where you test whether you're dreaming or not. You can do this by holding out your hand, trying to push your finger through the palm of your other hand. If it goes through, obviously you can conclude that you are dreaming. If it doesn't go through, then you might be awake. You'll get more accurate with this over time as you kind of practice and uh, get better at doing these reality checks. Next, we have lucid affirmations. Now you can call this whatever you want, okay? Lucid dreaming mantras, affirmations, you know, um, wh whatever you want to call them. Basically, it's just going to be sentences or phrases that you repeat to yourself over and over again that you want to be true. Uh, it's one of the most powerful ways of changing your subconscious beliefs. An example is, I can lucid dream. I will control my dreams. I am lucid. I am awake. Whatever uh, sentence you want to be true. And you need to phrase it in a way that makes sense to you. you. It needs to be coming from your own words so that you will really, it will really root itself in your subconscious beliefs and actually work. There's no kind of set in stone rule for how many times you should repeat the mantra to yourself, the, the affirmation. You know, I like to do it kind of 10 times a day, between five and 10 times a day, just repeat to yourself. It takes about 30 seconds, right? Just repeat this, the phrases over and over to yourself again and again. And next, just visualize your dream. You know, just imagine and visualize the dream that you want to have. Now, when I post things like this, I normally get comments saying like, what if I can't visualize? What if I have a condition where I can't really easily visualize things? Well. If you do all of the other things, then you should be able to get a lot of success from this technique, even if you can't visualize. But there are techniques and ways you can learn to actually teach yourself to visualize, uh, or at least make it easier and more likely. Now for beginners, this is probably the most effective lucid dreaming technique I know of, and it's certainly the easiest one to actually get results from, because it's been proven, you know, as I told you about this in this study, it's been proven that that technique is more effective than any other technique. So if, if you wanna focus on one thing, and if you're like me and you like kind of biohacking and uh, optimizing things, it makes sense to go for just the most effective technique, which in this case is the mild. So if you only have a limited amount of time, if you only want to practice for a few minutes a day, just focus on the mild because it's going to give you results faster than any other technique. So I hope that makes sense. I would love to hear what you think about this technique. So leave a comment. And by the way, if you want to check out my other videos, please go and uh, click on my channel. There's lots of tutorials there for beginners teaching you how to lucid dream, how to meditate, how to do all of these things. So I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time.